Joe Biden has called in to his friends over at MSNBC in a desperate attempt to prove all is well, but ended up sounding like a drunk, incoherent mess. The reason I've been out on the road so much all over the country, and while Trump is riding around in the golf cart, filling out his golf cart before golf cart before he even hits the ball. But anyway, he hadn't been anywhere in 10 days. I've been all over the country. Yes, all is well. He then really went off the rails. Come on, give me a break. Come with me. Watch. Watch. I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elites. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elites in the party who they know so much more. But any of these guys yeah. don't think I should let them run against me. Go ahead, announce the announce president. Challenge me in the convention. Did Hunter Biden help him write his interview notes today? And just in case we needed more evidence, the White House is babying the leader of the free world. They announced the president will hold a big boy press conference. After that, the president will hold a press conference. I guess a big boy press conference yes. is what we're calling it. Um, and take some questions from y'all. This week, President Biden will speak to national labor leaders of AFL-CIO, host the NATO summit to show the unprecedented strength of our alliance, hold a press conference, a big boy press conference. Yes, he's a big boy now. Will they teach him to potty train next? I'm sure Dr. Jill will be on standby to help. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the Speaking of, who is actually running for president? It's stage mum, Dr. Jill. For all the talk out there about this race, Joe has made it clear that he's all in. <laughs> and just as always, as he has supported my career, I'm all in too. <laughs> I bet you are, Dr. Jill. Let's bring in Newsweek senior editor at large and Article 3 Project senior counsel, Josh Hammer. Josh, uh, what exactly is a big boy press conference? I mean, how much longer <laughs> can the White House keep treating him like a toddler? Yeah, I, you know, your guess is as good as mine. I, I have no idea what a big boy press conference is supposed to be, but I'm happy that you played that clip of of Dr. Jill Biden congratulating Joe Biden after the debate for actually answering every question. Look, what you're, what, what you're seeing is not just the infantilization of the American presidency. It's actually much worse than just infantilizing the purported leader of the free world. What, what you've seen now, Axios, some other American political outlets have started to report, you're now seeing the media cop up to and admit the fact that Biden's handlers, even inside the White House, for the past year and a half, two years at least, maybe even longer than that, have prevented information that the commander-in-chief ought to know from getting to him. He is not the one making the decisions here, and that ought to trouble every single person, not just in America, but frankly all over the world. And, and, and it's just deeply ironic, uh, uh, even above that, because— this is the Democratic Party. They're making a whole stink of the fact that Donald Trump allegedly represents a mortal threat to American democracy. They call themselves the party of democracy. I, I mean, don't look at the fact that they're prosecuting and trying to incarcerate the political opposition. But even holding that massive thing aside for a second, how is it democratic to not even know who was running the country? How is it democratic to now openly talk of trying to do a coup at the convention and topple the guy that your own primary voter just voted for? That would be the antithesis of democracy, at least as I understood. So there's more wrong here than I possibly could get to in, in, in our conversation, but these clips at a bare minimum ought to be deeply disturbing.